Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use a Team Viewer. So first of all, let's type in Team Viewer in Google search. Let's open the website. So from this homepage you can either try Team Viewer for free or you can buy a subscription now. So I'm going to just click on the free download button here. Don't forget that in order to use Team Viewer you need to create an account, it's free. And from here the most important things are sessions and session will basically mean that you are either helping or receiving help. Basically what they mean by help or receiving help it's basically if you want to for example set something up in your PC and you don't know how uh, you ask a person to connect to your computer and they basically help you to do something with your PC and by uh, helping someone they mean that you're connecting to another person to their computer from your PC and giving them a guidance or any types of help. Also for those people that are used to the old interface of TeamViewer, you can switch back to the old interface if you want. And we have a corresponding button for that right here. New interface is turned on if you disable it. Then you will click restart and you will have a old UI, old user interface in TeamViewer. And from here, as you can see, you can either join a session or create a session. And as I click here, as you can see, we are given a tip that we need to copy our session link, give to your recipient, someone that will you will connect to, and from there you can connect both of the computers and receive or give help. And right here, as you can see, we have a sessions section. This will show us what kind of PCs or PC we are connected to. And the last tip that the app itself gives us is a possibility to use a classic ID and password and basically we have a home tab right here where we have all of our basic information also if your partner already has a team view installed you can just set your partner's ID and quickly connect with this button here okay the other important thing to do is you might want to set up a remote access to your device so you can just click here you can select your PC's name for example John add device and now your device is renamed. You can also add a photo if you want and add contacts. Okay, so from the home screen, let's create our first session. So click on here, remote actions, create a session. From here, you can name your session anything you want. I will leave it as default. Then you copy this link or you can also send this link via email. And then the person having this link will be able to connect to you or you can connect to them and they will have to do the same thing but in their own client now in the devices tab we have a devices that you have recently connected to you can manage them here we also have a administrator settings but for these to work you need a premium account now let's go to the settings and from here you have a various settings to choose from okay so in general we have a different settings as well like you as i said previously you can use a old team viewer interface if you want you can also switch to, to the dark mode if you want you can also select to start team viewer when you start your computer so we have a security tab all of the usual things that nearly any app has these days the block list authentication settings and everything else in the network settings i would say the important setting to check out first is the performance so you can enable hardware acceleration and you can also read what it does it basically speeds up the process makes it faster and more snappy you can also use a proxy okay a very important audio and video tab you can configure your microphone your speakers your video if you want to choose a microphone you can select it from here as you can see there's my microphone you can also adjust a input level and in video we have a settings to choose your web camera and these are basically the basic functions and settings in this app to first set up so that everything runs smoothly. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.